For a long time now, muskets have seen little play in expeditions, with melee weapons generally being the weapon of choice for most DPS players. For those who did go ranged, the bow or fire staff was the usual choice. However, with recent changes to the musket, I wanted to see if a musket DPS build was viable. After playing around with some builds, I found that not only is a musket DPS build viable, it actually puts out some pretty impressive damage. One of the key changes that makes a musket build now viable is a change that happened a while back that allowed musket attacks to penetrate through enemies and hit multiple targets. The issue in the past was that the musket could only do single target damage, so it was next to useless at taking down groups of enemies. With this change however, so long as you are lining up your shots, you can easily be hitting multiple targets at once. So onto the build itself. To start things off, we have the musket. We're using the syncretic musket that comes with the perks Attunement and Keenly Jagged. For the final perk, we've added Enchanted. This musket is easily farmable and is currently one of the best muskets in the game for both PvE and PvP, with all of the perks aimed at adding damage to our attacks. For our second weapon, we are using the Void Gauntlet artifact, Life Taker. Life Taker's unique perk, Negative Energy, causes our ranged attacks to inflict Disintegrate for 8 seconds. Disintegrate is a debuff that deals 5% damage per second and reduces armor by 10%. This can be stacked up to 3 times. This is huge, as after 3 attacks, we will be dealing 15% damage per second and will have applied a 30% rend. And with our musket attacks now penetrating through enemies, we can be applying this effect to multiple enemies at once from a single shot. Life Taker comes with Keen, Life Stealing, and Refreshing Move. For the final perk, we've added Putrefying Scream, allowing us to apply disease to counter healing effects. For our armor, we are in a light equip load. For our legs, we are using the artifact Attuned Leather Pants. Attuned Leather Pants unique perk, while rounded, gives us plus 10 to all attributes, which is useful for this build as we will be spreading our attribute points across multiple attributes. It comes with refreshing and elemental aversion, and for the final perk, we've added health. For our helm and chest, we are using enchanted, refreshing, and health. For our gloves, we are using enchanted ward, refreshing, and thrust conditioning. And for our boots, we're using enchanted ward, refreshing, and empowering shooter stance. This puts us over the refreshing cap of 4, so one of the refreshing perks can be changed to something else. There is room to further improve this build too by adding the weapon perks Crippling Powder Burn and Refreshing Power Shot, with Crippling Powder Burn taking priority to take advantage of the kick and when they're down passive on the skill tree. For our amulet, we are using Health and an Element Protection perk that matches the element of the mutation we are doing. For the ring, we are using Hearty, Thrust Damage, and Leeching. For the earring, we are using Healthy Toast, Refreshing Toast, and Healing Heart. For our attributes, we are using 25 Strength, 350 Dex, 250 Int, 25 Focus, and 15 Con. As a musket scales with Dex and Int, we put the majority of our points into these two attributes. 350 Dex provides the attribute threshold bonus of plus 15% crit chance whilst empowered. 250 Int provides a bonus of plus 30% to damage over time effects. 25 Strength adds plus 5% damage to our basic attacks, and 25 Focus reduces our cooldowns by 5%. For our skills, on the musket, our skill tree may look a little weird. You may notice that we have put points into four abilities, however, this was just a means to an end. 
With this build, we wanted to use the three abilities on the sharpshooter tree whilst using the ultimate lethal combo from the trapper tree. In order to achieve this, we have to select every passive in the trapper tree along with putting two points into an ability in order to gain access to the lethal combo ultimate. Due to a recent buff to the musket, lethal combo now increases our damage by 20% by targets affected by any musket debuff. Previously, it only worked for debuffs from the trapper tree. This means we can now gain a 20% damage buff to any target affected by our Powder Burn ability. Speaking of abilities, we will be using Powder Burn, Power Shot, and Shooter Stance. It is important to note that Powder Burn and Power Shot can both be activated whilst in Shooter Stance. Therefore, the main combo will be Shooter Stance into Powder Burn into Power Shot. For our skills on the Void Gauntlet, we are using Scream, Tether, and Orb of Decay. Scream provides some CC, and thanks to the perk on our weapon, Disease. Tether provides Weaken and Empower, and is great for bosses. Orb of Decay provides damage, rend, and slow. Whilst the abilities on the Void Gauntlet do provide some utility, we are mainly using the Void Gauntlet for the artifact unique perk, Negative Energy, to add damage and rend to our musket attacks. As stated earlier, positioning and aim is key to this build, as you want to try to be hitting enemies in a line to hit multiple targets at once. And as always, with a ranged build, please wait until your tank has got aggro before you start attacking. Overall, with the changes to musket over time, along with the use of the life taker artifact, a musket DPS expedition build does now feel viable and is a fun change of pace. That's it for the video. If you have any questions about the build, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.